All right, we left off having the more circle associated with the active condition, which of course touches the failure envelope, right? And we had said that the C prime was zero for the backfill soil. This is sigma prime and this is tau. So we have left here, we had left here, and we were looking for the active lateral earth pressure or also called active lateral stress ratio, right? So this is basically the vertical, sorry, the horizontal stress over the vertical stress. This one, sorry, that one divided by that one, right? So in the case where we have um, C prime equal to zero, we have the line uh, passing through the origin, right? And also touching the Mohr circle. So what do we know here? We know that C prime is zero. We know uh, the angle of friction. So we know that, right? Because we know the angle of friction for the soil. That's the, the whole point here, that we know the strength envelope. That is the two strength parameters. We know them. And we also know that the more circle it's touching that envelope. That's the more circle for the active condition. We also know the that the radius of the circle, right? The radius of the circle is the vertical minus the horizontal divided by two. Right? And we know that the more circle touches the envelope at that point. So when we do the geometric analysis, and all that is, is basically just, let's call it high school geometry. There's no tricks or anything else. If you have a circle and you know its center, you know its radius, right? By the way, the center of the circle is what? Is the center distance, let's call it C, ah, C prime C, hmm. let's call it D. That distance from the origin to the center is what? Is sigma horizontal plus the radius, which you have up here. So once you include all these parameters in your geometric analysis, you find of course, given that the circle touches the envelope, you find that the relationship between the horizontal stress and the vertical stress is tangent squared of 45 degrees minus phi over 2. So that is the Rankine active the Rankine theory, or sorry, the lateral uh, stress ratio in the active condition as derived by Rankine, okay? Tangent squared 45 minus phi over two. So if you remember from the previous video, we had the wall, right? And we had that wedge. Well, what ends up happening is that this, is that this wedge is oriented at an angle, remember this is the active wedge or slice where all the points in here in this wedge are essentially or at the basically in the active condition have a more circle that touches the failure envelope. All of these wedges, right? And they all are they are all failing. That is the soil essentially reaches the maximum resistance that it can offer along a plane oriented at 45 plus phi over 2 degrees. This is the active condition. Alright, so you'll see later that when you calculate the force that acts on the wall, you're going to use 
where you're going to determine the horizontal stress first okay and to determine that you're going to take the vertical stress effective of course and you're going to multiply it by ka instead of k naught okay active because you expect the active condition to uh, be working or operational during the life of the wall all right there is another let me just move this here there is of course the case where the backfill is a soil that has a failure envelope where the cohesion is not zero but some value okay typically these are soils that have fines or fine grain soils so it could be coarse soil with fine uh, coarse soil with fines in it or fine grain soil so in this case the same thing right the more circle in the active condition touches the failure envelope right sigma horizontal sigma vertical the active k is sigma horizontal over sigma vertical like any other k right but i keep on saying the same thing just repeating just for you guys to to um to get it in your head k is always sigma horizontal over sigma vertical obviously primes right but k active is the one or is the 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 one k that is associated with the condition where the more circle at a point right touches the failure envelope of the soil in this case the geometry is different because now that is different than this geometry because here the line crosses the origin that's the difference here the line crosses the y-axis tau at the cohesion intercept right in this case case sorry ka is a function of c prime and also c prime <clears throat> it's a more involved equation a little bit longer and i will give that to you later on um, the reality is that when we backfill walls we do so with coarse material that generally doesn't have a c prime and the reason we do that is because we want to uh, promote drainage so that the water doesn't accumulate in the back of the wall producing a hydrostatic pressure that that is quite large so we don't want that and therefore that's why we have weep holes and drainage layers back here that allow the water to escape okay and for the water to escape freely this the soil that we place back there generally we select coarse grain soil with no fines so we have this type of situation where the C prime is zero but in some cases we don't have a choice so we have to put back there some soil with C prime that C, with some C prime meaning some soil that has some fines in it and therefore we have a modification of Ka okay so um, I'll give you that that later on from here on you can continue